If you've been looking to automate your Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store, then look no further than this video. Be sure to smash that like button because in this video I'm gonna be talking about the best program out there, the best Chrome extension that you can be using today in order to automate your listing process on the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. This isn't 100% automation, but it will bring you pretty damn close to it and it's going to make your life so much easier. I've never really talked about this program before. I've only really done or mentioned it in a couple videos, but I wanna make sure that I go in depth on this program. And the best part about it is that it's only $12.99 a month. It's very inexpensive. It's an easy to use Chrome extension and it has a ton of suppliers that you can list from. It also does messaging, saves templates for it. There's a lot of things that this pro program can do and it's only getting bigger and better. You can go on other platforms as well, but we'll only be talking about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping in this video. So hopefully you enjoy it and I'll see you inside my computer. All right, so here we are inside of my computer and the software that I'm talking about in this video is Zdrop. Zdrop, a lot of people have heard of it already, but a lot of people have not. And what it is is a simple Chrome extension that you can see right here up in the top right that basically does a bunch of stuff for Facebook Marketplace. Not only Facebook Marketplace, but Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, but we're only gonna be talking about Facebook Marketplace because that's what I think is the biggest platform that everybody that's following me is using at the moment. And the best part about it is it's a listing tool. It's pretty much automated, but you know, it's not 100% automated. You still need to put some work in yourself, but it cuts out all the tedious, hard tasks that you need to do. It also has a messaging feature where you can have templated messages where if people are sending you the same messages on Facebook nonstop, if you've been selling on Facebook, you know that people ask the same questions all the time. There's a bunch of other stuff it can do. It does preset templates. It does it has a bunch of different settings that you can use. Um, and they're adding things every single day. So here's the suppliers that you can use currently in order to drop ship onto Facebook Marketplace. I believe it works on the other websites as well, but um, I really only know Facebook Marketplace. The best part about it too is you can ask them to add it. And since it's pretty simple of a software, they can get this added in in like the next 24 hours or 48 hours from when you ask. So if you have any questions or you want to just message them here, and you will be able to, or in the bottom right, my face might be covering it up. You will get it added fairly quickly to the actual uh, software itself. So another thing is there is a discount code down below in the description. And if you use that, there is some form of a discount. I have not fully worked it out yet that you will be getting every single month on your uh, Z Drop subscription. So the best part about Z Drop, again, uh, also is the fact that it is only $12.99 per month. You get the first seven days for free. And after that, it is a very reasonable program. Like the price is extremely reasonable. It's about the same price as uh, Spot and Paste or anything else like that. Very simple, very helpful automated listing tool for your business. There is a lot of videos as well that can help you out on your journey uh, because this video might not answer every single question that you do have. So once you wanna sign up for it, all you really need to do is click sign up and then go through the steps and do so. You also need to download it. When you click download right here, it brings you to the Chrome extension. There's already a ton of users for it um, and then you just download it that way. So once you do download it, it will be right here and you need to log in and some of this is blurred out but what you need to realize here is that there's you know here's all the products it can monitor your products and i know these products are blurred out for the most part but it can monitor your products and also reprice them i do not think that's the best way to go about it it's not 100 percent as well put together for you know tracking prices and shipping prices for specific suppliers as it is for just listing SKU grid itself has so many more years in the game of scraping data that way that I think you should still be using SKU Grid for your repricing aspect. There's also the bulk feature where you can list items in bulk. Um, that's one thing that is, I'm not gonna go over too much in this video. The monitor feature, like I said, where it's going to monitor your prices and update them, check prices and update. It's just in the beta at the moment. Um, here's the address. This is where you can actually pull in your customer's addresses um, in order to actually do just a spot and paste, like copy and pasting for suppliers. Again. This software isn't 100% built for that. And these are all just add-ons over time. I still think spot and paste is a better aspect for, or a better tool to be using for copy and pasting of actual customers' information, just because that's what they are built for. Zdrop was primarily built for copy and pasting or just auto listing your orders on a Facebook marketplace. So how would you do that? You go click here on templates. You need to select a template. They give you some examples. So if you click here, You'll see that you know a lot of people use emojis when they first get started um, or at the beginning of their actual 
listing, like click buy now, a button to place order, where everything's covered by the Facebook commerce policy or fast shipping, brand new inbox, things like that. So you can add this in. I think this is too much, so you can delete it or you can create your own where you just need to click select template, name it, and then um, you know put in some HTML there. So they have a couple examples. You can do that. You need to make sure that you put in this squiggly bracket, description squiggly bracket, because that's gonna get you description. You can click here and have them add it in. Um, and then you just save the template. Once you save it, you have a template that you can use. And then what you wanna click here is settings. So once you have settings set up, I wouldn't take this profit percentage as a given. I, want, I would think that if you're in my training, use the profit percentage that is inside of the spreadsheets or just like what the spreadsheets tell you to list the item at because this is not 100% accurate. Um, but then you get to pick your custom template uh, if you wanna use that. And then you can put, you know, hide from friends. I always put hide from friends so that you don't bother your friends with all your marketplace listings, condition, new, list as in stock, quantity, you can pick whatever you want. I put 10. If you wanna put fixed tags, you can, but I don't, I don't really do that. So that's that. You can also log in and there's other stuff inside, but there's really not anything that, that much, that important inside there for me to show in this video besides the templates that you can use for messaging people, which I'll show in later videos. But let's now move forward and look into how to actually list with this program. So basically, if you go to any of these suppliers' websites, ZDrop will automatically just integrate in at the top of the website. So I just clicked on walmart.com, I found an item, and once you click on the item, you will realize that there is, you know, there's a ton of different options here. There's create multiple listings for each variation, since there's variations, but all variations are out of stock besides green. Uh, electric pressure washer should do pretty well considering summer is right around the corner. Um, and then you're gonna see something that says copy to Posh Poshmark, copy to Mercari, copy to Etsy, copy to Facebook, but I already clicked copy, so it says copy done. Uh, and save to bulk list if you wanna do that. But I'm just gonna click copy to Facebook again and see what happens. So you'll see that automatically your Facebook Marketplace profile opens up straight to you know where you're gonna create a listing. All you need to know is like this part of the URL is gonna take you there. So that's what they're playing on top of. And when you clicked copy, it pretty much pulled all of the data from Walmart or whatever your Marketplace is or whatever your supplier is and from there, it's already inside of the tool, pretty much like how Spot and Paste works, where it just pulls out your customer's data and then holds it inside of Spot and Paste. It's pretty much the same thing for ZDrop. So at that point in time, you will notice if you have this download, you'll have this button that says Paste Data here, which is not usually there unless you are using ZDrop. And then from that point in time, you just wanna click Paste Data. For that, just sake of time, it takes some time. You just wanna sit here and not click anything because as you can tell, things are being brought up, things are changing. Things are being updated, um, but it does take a little bit of time. So for that reason, especially if there are a lot of photos, for that reason, I did go ahead and I'm just gonna leave this where it is right now and X out of it. And I did go ahead and actually do it myself right away. So as you can see, pretty much here's all the images that got brought in. Sometimes it brings in all of them. Sometimes it doesn't, like there's a ton here and it didn't bring them all in. It's fine, you don't need all of them, like you really don't. Um, and then you wanna adjust it to make sure, you know, the product is what's showing. The best part of the product is, or the best picture is what's showing first. If you look at the price, it's 160 bucks um, and it's put up at 208. So if we do 208 times 0.95, that will get rid of the 5% listing fee. Um, and then it was $160. So if we do minus 160, pretty much, that's gonna be the profit that you'll be making. If you divide that by 208, which would get you the profit percentage, you'll see that it's listing at 18%. So like I said, the 30% is not accurate. I do believe that it's 36.6 divided by 160. It's still, even on the purchase price, it's still not um, 30%. So I really don't know how they're calculating their numbers, but again, you wanna just up, upload it. I think 30% is a good price to aim for. You know, There's more people on Marketplace nowadays, so 20, 25, anywhere up to 50%, you should be able to get. You can arrange the images the way that you want. You can change the title if you want or leave it the way that it is. If you're inside of my training, you know how to change the title. Um, and here's the available quantity. I said it's 10, you can change that if you want. 
Facebook's gotten pretty good recently at pretty much guessing the category that you're listing in. So I would pick outdoor power equipment as long as it has the shipping option and you can click it and that actually does not have the shipping option. So if I click tools, um, you know, it does, I believe have the shipping option on this one. Um, so we should, or air tools. Oh, that's not dropping down. We should be good. Um, condition new. You don't need to put the brand in if you don't want, it's optional. Uh, at that point in time, you know, you can change this around. This is going to be to do with your template that you chose in your settings. And with Walmart, there's a ton of wording for the description that it copies in. So honestly, I would probably just delete the majority of this or just go through and pick and choose what you want. I mean, you want a good description, but you don't want it too long. This is just way too long. I think this is like a good enough one. As long as it describes your item well enough you should be good to go. And then sometimes it does actually try to add in product tags, which doesn't always work. So then you can add in your own. Sometimes it does get a good amount of them in there. But I think the main part of this software is that it copy and paste the majority of everything in template format for you to then go through and either have your virtual assistants edit or you edit yourself. You can save it as a draft for them if you want your VAs to edit it, or you can have your VAs do it and then save it as a draft for you to come in and edit it, whichever you want. Nowadays, there's a SKU option. You can add that in if you want. Um, there's also the boost listing after publish option, which came up recently. Uh, I don't really suggest doing so. And then from there, hide from friends. And then that's pretty much it. You can click next, go through the, the full listing process um, where I would pick shipping only and then use your own label. Usually I'd just put zero unless I'm trying to do something. You can click free shipping for all buyers. That's semi new, that's been around for a while. Um, and then after that, you pretty much just click next and then you would list it. So that's pretty much it with Z drop. I mean, it does do a lot of stuff and I just wanted to cover like the main things that it does do in this video. It's mainly for listing. That's what it was created for. That's what it does best. It does do a lot of other things, but like I said, you know, you want to focus on which software does what the best or what it was created for with spot and paste. It was created to copy and paste addresses. For SKU grid, it was created to copy and paste, I mean, to uh, monitor your listings, reprice them, put them in and out of stock. That's what its bread and butter is. Zdrop's bread and butter is copying and pasting listings for Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, but mainly Facebook, and is very good at getting suppliers in there extremely quickly and as fast as possible, excuse me, so that you can go through and you know use new suppliers as quickly as possible. So hopefully this video was helpful hopefully it was informative if you have any questions about zdrop just ask them down below it does do a bunch more stuff it integrates into your into your marketplace and you can renew your listings and things like that but it's kind of glitchy it kind of takes a long time and i think that facebook will soon enough have updates for doing that internally in, with facebook itself so i'm not really going to go over it in this video so hopefully this video is helpful like i said there is a discount code down below if you use my affiliate link i will get a minor kickback for that but i appreciate it if you feel like using it please do there is a discount for using it um, and just leave any questions down below so hopefully this video is helpful um, and i will see you in the next one thank you very much